a very good morning to one and all gathered here i am janani from second ma english it gives me immense pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to the national seminar on swayam mook an integral part of education a digital india initiative in collaboration with indian council of social science research on behalf of sdnb vaishnav college for women i welcome you all to this wonderful event respected dignitaries on the dais my dear uh, faculty and my dear students good morning to all of you who are here so our college is really very proud to uh, have this wonderful seminar uh, which is the first of its kind sponsored by icssr digital india as vayam mook initiative this is the need of the har also so shrimati devkunwa nanalal but vaishnav college uh, started in 1968 by the cork industries uh, charities trust has a strength of 6907 um, uh, students but the main is that we cater to the need of 70% of first generation women learners so it is for this uh, uh, population which we cater uh, uh, we bring in lot of programs value added courses uh, uh, to make them all employable graduates in the future uh, so we do have have 28 ug programs 17 pg and 5 mphil programs and 10 research programs are also here uh, leading to phd uh, degree uh, this is going to be a very good initiative so once again i thank all of you who are here uh, madam who has come from osmania university and uh, to offer very good friend uh, dr mallika uh, she is always a, a, a support for all of us regarding all the initiatives which we do take and we have one dynamic person who has got lot to talk about the initiatives regarding this bs data science it was very very uh, inspiring to talk to him right uh, so i think we would hear more from them and i need to congratulate dr alamelu who was who's the convener for this for having initiated this and have this happen thank you so much thank you ma'am your words are always admirable now i invite the convener of the national seminar dr s alamelu associate professor and head of post graduate department of applicable mathematics swayam coordinator of sg and bbc to brief about the program good morning all my heartiest greetings to one and all present here so i take great pride and pleasure in welcoming our chief guest dr t professor t varanalini ma'am amrc director osmania university hyderabad and professor t malliga ma'am head department of educational multimedia technology ni triple t r chennai and professor jay krishnan sir senior scientist iit madras and our principal ma'am dr mrs r geeta and our vice principals dr mrs leka ma'am dr mrs magisha shudamadini dr mrs victoria and session chairs dr mrs cp sumati dr mrs r vijaya vijaya ma'am head department of mathematics and our session observers dr mrs shivashankari department of english dr Ms. mrs archana department of english dr mrs padma vilasani department of tamil dr mrs lakshmi department of tamil and dr mrs sanju lakshmi department of tamil and dr mrs eril department of hindi and all the faculty members of our college and from various institutions and all the attendees who have come here to attend the seminar my special welcome to everyone please accept i am much grateful to our management principal vice principals and all the faculty members and all of the college members for providing us for all the necessary guidance and timely support in conducting the seminar here and a special mention and thanks to the indian council of social science research for collaborating with us and providing a right opportunity for this national seminar on swayam mook which is a digital india initiative this national seminar is organized to celebrate the national theme event named azadika amrit mahotsav 75 years of progressive independence which includes a specific focus on the indian government's digital initiatives for education digital revolution has led to noteworthy changes in education and how the contents and information are shared accessed across digital india initiative is to empower our country through technology quality education and widespread learning so once again i welcome all the chief guest for this national seminar and our principal ma'am and all the attendees our vice principals and all the faculty members of this seminar thank you thank you ma'am for addressing Now I would like to call upon Dr. N. Priya, Associate Professor, Department of MSc Computer Science, to introduce our chief guest of the gathering. 
Good morning to one and all present here. It's a great pleasure to welcome our guest, Professor T. Mrinalni, Senior Professor in the Department of Education, Osmania University, Telangana. She is presently Head Lifelong Learning, Director in Charge in EMMRC, Osmania University, Hyderabad. She is also the Coordinator, School of Education under the MMTT Scheme, MHRD, New Delhi. I request Dr. Mahisha Suramardini, Vice Principal Shift 1, to felicitate Dr. P. Maliga, Professor and Head, Department of Educational Multimedia Research and Technology, NITTTR, Chennai. First, Dr. C. P. Sumati, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Computer Science, to felicitate Professor Jay Krishna, Senior Scientist, NPTEL, IIT Madras. Now I invite our chief guest, Professor T. Milnalini, Director, EMRC, to deliver the inaugural address. Over to you, ma'am. Very honestly, my journey into this technology is very little when compared to them. Maybe they would be more contributory for you to learn. But my whole ideas will be thrown towards EMRC side because that is the area where I took over last one and a half not even one and a half year, I, as an in-charge director at EMMRC, earlier we used to call, now EMRC we are calling, Educational Multimedia Research Centers. These centers, all of you know, they take up Swayam programs, that is online MOOCs programs they are taking up on Swayam platform. They are the other co-partners who are sitting with, with you. They will be talking about their partnership in this MOOCs program, how the journey went on and other things. Maybe I may not get into the ma many details of that because time also is very less for us. But to tell you frankly, when you look at technologies, we get mesmerized. To start with, we get mesmerized and sometimes we get confused. If you don't understand technology, you get confused. If you understand technology, it is very, very simple to access and also get akin to that. So this is how I can look at technologies. And especially when you look at these uh, online courses, now after the pandemic, all of you know, without referring to pandemic, online has no relevance. During this pandemic period, most of the faculties and most of the students started accessing n number of courses on MOOCs platforms, whether it is offered by NPTEL or by IGNO or by EMRCs, especially the, the Swayam portal through EMRCs, they were open to all irrespective of their background qualification and other things. So many open courses were there. So they were offered. Even NPTEL offered so many courses. He will be sharing with you all those details. So there during pandemic, many people started, you know, accessing them and then enrolling into that. If you look at the figures in the guidelines of MOOCs, you understand not even 50% uh, or 40% could complete the courses after enrolling into these online courses. That was the scenario during that pandemic because they were taking enrollment, they were downloading the material. I should not reveal that secret to you. They were downloading the material, keeping safe all the material in their stacks. And then some of them were continuing with the course. Some of them were dropping out in between the course. Some of them were going till the last journey point, taking a certification. So when you look at the certification and enrollment, especially on uh, uh, EMRCs I'm talking about, maybe NPTEL it may be very good. The response and also certification may be almost on par because of the popularity of the data science and other courses which are very popular engineering courses. And especially it is offered by IIT, so it has its own charm of getting a quality of IITN education system or IITN quality of education probably they had more kind of charm. And whatever EMRCs are offering, these are mostly the social sciences courses and sciences courses, humanities courses, of course, UG, PG courses. These are most of the mainstream courses they are, they are offering. And other than mainstream courses, credit and non-credit. Non-credit courses were more in the beginning. Later on, they were started going into main disciplinary courses and all. So probably these are some of the reasons could be, I may be saying little, maybe a negative note what I am saying. Why I am saying this also, there is a reason behind it. Because when such, such a huge project has started, 
to provide access and also to provide equity and to give the kind of quality education that is being offered to many people which is otherwise not available to the remote parts of India. So, with this whole lots of initiatives of online programs offered on MOOCs platform, I think the teachers and students should start motivating themselves, motivating the students and also motivating themselves to take ac access onto these courses and get lot of you know knowledge about it which is otherwise freely available you know otherwise you have to spend lot of money and time this is again there is no need of any time it is irrespective of your time you know any time anywhere kind of such a huge flexibility we have such a huge number of courses we have at no cost you know there is no need to pay any money and nobody will question you like whether you have attendance or not you know even if you drop out nobody will question you in a in a mainstream course if you drop out you have to lose the course you can come back you know next session you come back and take it up again you can enroll and take it up again so such a kind of huge flexibility we have and quality you know uh, product we have with us the education we have with us. So, when such kind of things are available, why not we motivate our teachers and students to get an access to such kind of quality education which is flexible and freely available to 24 by 7, you know, the access is 24 by 7. He was saying in the evening we offer most of the courses. These courses, some time schedules are there, of course. They will offer, there will be enrollment time, there will be duration, 8 to 12 weeks duration time will be there. All these mandates are there. But in spite of that, we have enough flexibility in these kind of online courses, anytime, anywhere kind of things. You don't need to go anywhere. Like you are all here sitting in the college and you have to, you know, uh, show your attendance, 75 percent, 80 percent attendance, only then you are allowed to go for the examination. Here also credits means you have to attend online course, not face to face course, but online course. If you fulfill those credits, yes, you can really go for the examination, certification will be done by different uh, stakeholders or the co-partners on MOOCs, whoever offer the course, whether it is an university coordinators or organizations or colleges, whoever are coordinating that, I will go in a very systematic way because if I say like this, maybe you get confused with what I am talking because I am talking from EMRC mode point of it. So, before going into the MOOC or whatever Swayam is doing especially by EMRCs, apart from MOOCs courses, there is also Swayam Prabha which is happening. Like earlier we had 32, now 34 channels they picked up schools around 12 channels which they have added even early stages of the school right from class 1 onwards 12th standard they are giving. University level higher education around 22 you know uh, kind of channels are available on DTH you have. So, all these channels are offering almost all courses you have whether you take it in terms of social sciences, sciences, technology, humanities, languages you know whatever you want it is available to you on these channels freely 24 by 7. Any time you can access them and they are available on those channels through the satellites. So, you, you have the access to all those videos which are posted on that which highly expertised resource persons who present these videos and this whole process will be done uh, by all these coordinators who are co-partners on the MOOCs platform. So, uh, so sorry Swayam, Swayam platform. So, all the MOOCs courses are offered by all these uh, partners, co-partners, the NIOS, you have NCRT, you have uh, NPTEL, you have EMRCs, uh, they are taking, they are under CEC they are working, EMRC is not direct partner there, it is CEC which is heading all the EMRCs across nation, we have around 21, now 19 are really functional, two others are little dysfunctional, so 19 across India are offering so many number of courses. Right now, if you see this kind of newsletter, I just brought some of the things to show. You can see in the website also, this kind of a monthly newsletter will come. The 11 DTH channels offered are managed by, here it is given, I can read for you because you can access also, you can just go to a CEC website, you find all these things or go to Swayam platform, you find everything there. So, like that, you know, you have so many channels which are managed by uh, the CC, CECs. These CECs are heading 
to prepare all the quality material through the EMRCs. So, there is a procedure. I will talk to you about all those procedural issues. So, before even going into Swayam or Swayam Prabha, let me just have a glance at some of the popular digital initiatives which not only helps to go through this process of online courses, but otherwise the access is available for you where you can really empower the students, the even the parents, anybody can empower through these digital initiatives like I, I wanted to just show you those all digital initiatives. It is available on the website, not mine. So, these 28, one of the, uh, any of those initiative, just it is a glance, at glance we are taking. You can go to that website and explore it, whatever best you can access from that, whatever best benefit you can get from that, you can get definitely from that. So, when you look at Swayam part, we will, we will come to that point after about 5-10 minutes. So, after this Swayam, Swayam Prabha, again I have already told you about the 34 DTH channels. So, these channels you can go, apart from this EPG Patashala is much more popular amongst the students, Madam was saying that it is made mandate for all of you to undergo certain courses and also take a certification which may be an add-on course yeah, they will be taking which is a non-credit course, is it non-credit course in your course part of it. But today because of UGC mandate 40 percent of online courses we can take where students can be really uh, influenced or rather encouraged to go for this kind of online courses also because uh, I would say that all that uh, amount of quality of lectures that are available or quality products that are available may be in some of the uh, 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 centers where you are getting a very high quality material and high quality lectures are available. So, such a kind of courses if at all students go for, I think we will get much benefit out of that. So, like that this Swayam and Swayam, Swayam Prabha part of it we will, we will go little later and they will also partner uh, after me. Apart from that you have also have national a academic depository where you know you can deposit all your 24 by 7 online this is storehouse for all of you to deposit your certifications or whatever diplomas and degrees you have you know that kind of a sa security and safety mechanism available to us because if you lose one certificate you have to go around the police station and then get all the certificates 2-3 months time you have to lapse and you will not get the original certificate it will be again a duplicate certificate they say once you get the duplicate original will not be functional. So, like that we will be losing sometimes in a travel or in some way or the other we may lose the things. So, such a safety security mechanisms are being created with the uh, NSDL database management limited they, they are following and this official website we can look at or you can look at it. So, that you can know how much you can take benefit out of these things. Similarly, you have National Digital Library of India where you know all it is uh, you know put together though you have some other Oxford and then P Pittsburgh and many many other international universities and international libraries are there where they are maintaining lot of databases and repositories are available on those libraries. But to, to bring them onto one platform to access at one point I think this libraries are really working wonders at at our national level. So, you can have this National Digital Library of India and you can go and see how much of benefit you can get from that what kind of articles because still maybe here UG and PG courses are there not PhD program. If you have even PhD program or if you are doing some small scale research at your PG level also you will get lot of databases, you, you will get lot of bibliometric information where you can access lot of articles, journals and then books and lots of material will be available in these libraries. Instead of going to so many website and wasting lot of time, at one point probably you will get lot of material available and resources available and access to so many repositories also you can get connected. So, like that you will have this another initiative, these are all the Indian initiatives where they say power to empower, power, the, the tag word is power to empower all the learners and all the people across India. I am not getting into the details. The websites are there along with them. You can see Swayam onwards, everything is there. Swayam, Swayam Prabha. Then I was taking up third one, then fourth one. Fifth was E Shod Sindhu. So, this is again a three consortium initiatives. They were UGC Infonet, Digital Library Consortium, NLS TST, and Indest AICT Consortium. So, how peer reviewed journals and other journals will be available on, on that. 
and for the whole academic community across India, I think all of them know, the experts know, but I don't know whether teachers have an access to all these things. You have an idea? We do have a membership in Okay. So you have access to all these things. Very nice, very nice. So many libraries also at Usmania we have the subscribes and subscribe and other things. Then I thought, okay, anybody can have this access because what are the initiatives that are available? Whatever we need, we keep using them, not the things which are available to all the things. So similarly, you have these virtual labs where, you know, all these people are doing 70, 700 plus web enabled experiments are there. Suppose if some of the science students who require, you can access those